Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time coming back to this channel, consider subscribing. It's Max from the Max Creation. Consider subscribing, support this channel by subscribing. If you are new to this channel, the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And if you are new to this channel, by the way, it's the only channel where you can get true information. Remember, we are still talking about the new labor law in the UAE. We are still talking about the new labor law in the UAE. And we are trying to look at some of the amendments in the youth labor law in the UAE. Remember, this law is coming into effect in February 2022. And what are some of these amendments that are coming in this law? Remember, we are super excited. Super ex ex excited in such a way that we are going to benefit. We are only not going to benefit as the employees, but also the employer will benefit. It's going to create what you call a good working environment that is going to super help us to improve ourselves. But remember, what are some of the amendments that are in this law? Or what are some of these amendments that we need to talk about? Remember, we talk about a year, a three-year contract that you need to sign which can permit you to either work on a full time, a temporary, or what we call a flexible time period, depending on what you've agreed with your employer. So when we talk about the UAE, we are also talking about the other Emirates that make up the UAE. That is Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, and all other Emirates that make up the UAE. In this video, we are going to look at what we call the working hours and the overtime clause. The amendments that is being introduced what are we talking about or what are we talking about in this case that your employer will not force you to work overtime against your will and then even if you work your overtime you have to be paid that overtime and remember part of this part of this amendment also notes that the overtime should not exceed two hours the overtime should not exceed two hours. The overtime period should be paid. Your day off, if you work your day off, you are entitled to payment as per the new labor law. Hope it's very clear and hope is pretty very clear. Let me, let me, let me, read, through, let me read through what I summarized from the, this amendment. It will be prohibited for employees to work overtime five consecutive hours without at least one hour break. It will be prohibited for someone to work five consecutive hours without a break in the new labor law in the UAE, starting February 2022. That if you work five hours, you must have one consecutive one hour of rest hope it's very clear guys this is quite amazing you work five hours if your duty location is more than five hours you work five hours you get one hour rest so that means if you're working 12 hours if you're working 12 hours on your duty location that means you need to get two hours of consecutive rest it further says no more than two hours of overtime employees must receive an overtime wage equivalent to a regular hour pay with a 25 percent increase if conditions required employer to work overtime between 10 p.m and 4 a.m they will be entitled to an overtime or an overtime wage equivalent to a regular pay with 50% increase. This is quite very amazing, guys. Huh? Hope people are planning to go to UAE and people are already in the UAE. You're super going to make a lot of money, especially when it comes to overtime, because it's quite amazing. It's quite amazing. Remember, they will also be to entitled to earn to overtime wage equivalent to a regular pay with 50% increase. 
Employees on a shift basis are exempt from this rule. For example, this is only going to be applied or only applied to those people that are going to work on a full-time basis. But if you are going to work on a uh, shift basis, uh, shift basis, uh, then you are not part of this law. I think that is very conceptual and it's pretty very good at a time that is going to benefit all of the people. Remember, not if workers are asked, if you are asked to work on a day off, if you are asked to work on a day off, they must receive a one day leave or an overtime wage. An overtime wage which is equivalent to a regular day pay with a 50% increase. Hope is very clear that overtime, if you're working on a full contract in the UAE, is going to be part of another time where you're going to make a good amount of money as part of an increase to your salary. Hope I've tried to share out something for you and uh, you've tried to pick out something. So remember, overtime will be paid and if you work on your off day, you'll be paid 50%. If you work on other day, according agri basis, you'll be paid you'll be paid 25% on top of your on pot on top of your overtime increase. And remember that no one is permitted to work more than two hours of overtime. And if you are going to work between 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. as your overtime. It should be doubled to 50% of your wage. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thanks so much for tuning into this channel. See you again as we try to see more amendments in the new labor law in the UAE. It's Max from the Max Creation.